Hey guys, so for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you may remember the Pentax 50mm f1.4 lens that I used on my a6000 a while ago. It's a lens that I still have and it is an amazing value for around $50. Now, in order to use that lens, you need an adapter to mount that to your a6000. The adapter that I showed in that video was made by a company called KNF. Last week, KNF Concept reached out to me and wanted to send me a tripod for review. So this is it. This is the KNF Concept super giant tripod um, that I'm pretty excited about. I should be able to do direct top-down videos for unboxings, which will be pretty useful. So let's check out what comes in the box. <music> Unboxing Inception. Anyway, okay, back to the unboxing. So this is the box. Uh, it has a little outline of the tripod on the front, KNF concept, uh, the back, and more of the same. So let's open this up. Now this is an expensive model of a tripod. They have several other models available on Amazon. Uh, wow, so it comes in this nice bag. Let me unzip it. And the tripod. Already can see some red there, which is awesome. Another, I uh, don't know what that piece is. A strap for the packaging and some silica gel. Tripod legs here and there is the top, so they even included a little pouch here. So this tripod is kind of cool because you can do low angle shots with it. So, so this is the quick release plate. You can see there is a bubble level on the top. Uh, let's see if we unscrew this. That will go on your camera. And then you could just slide your camera in. It locks in place and you secure it. It does have a ball head. So these legs will flip over like that and they kind of click into place. The ball head, you have your pan here. Uh, so there's adjustments here and this pan is fluid. You can tighten it down and make it more difficult to pan, but that is very nice. In addition, it has a second ball head, which I've never seen on a tripod before, but then again, I'm not a tripod aficionado anyway. Now this whole uh, center part raises up. You can secure that. Um, and the entire thing is nice because you have these little tabs so you can adjust each of the legs. You can spread the legs like that and mount your camera on top. To extend the legs, you twist and then you twist the other way to lock them into place. This is more secure than the typical locks that you see on cheaper tripods, but it takes a little bit longer to set up your tripod, so it's a trade-off. So this is the max height. Uh, I'm about six feet tall, so it's right about as tall as I am. Actually, I was just kidding. I had to get a wider lens because this part extends up. So that is what the second ball is for. And the cool thing about this is that you can rotate it and then you can drop it down and that will allow you to get some awesome top-down shots. So if I come over to this side and I twist this leg, it will detach. And that gives you a monopod. There are four leg segments here, and this tripod is all aluminum. It's really finished quite nicely, but for the price, you would expect that. Just for fun, let's see how quickly I could put this tripod back into its carrying bag. And done. So now I'm gonna show you what sort of shots you can get with this fluid head.
So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, KNF Concept has a wide variety of products on Amazon. And if you are in the market for a tripod, you don't have to buy this one. This one is kind of expensive for a tripod, but they have several models out there that are budget friendly and they have very, very good reviews. So check them out if you are interested. In addition, if you are interested in the tripod that I've been using up to this point, I will definitely post that down below as well. It is a Sony branded tripod. It's the VPR1, if I am recalling that correctly. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the likes and all the support. Stay tuned for future videos and have a nice day. Bye-bye.